This is the continuations of Project Portfolio Management, Chapter 8, page 100, ah, no, no, page 96. Portfolio Risk Management The primary objective of Portfolio Risk Management is to make sure that portfolio components will achieve the best possible success according to the organization's strategy and business model. From a risk perspective, this is done through the balancing of risk, both positive opportunities and negative threat. The managing of risk below the portfolio level is usually through of us exploiting opportunities and avoiding threat. However, when dealing with the complexity of the portfolio level, the simple approach of avoiding threat and exploiting opportunities may not result in the complete balancing of the portfolio risk. Portfolio risk management align portfolio components, organizational strategy and business model, and environmental factor towards the objectives of the portfolio value optimization and result in synchronized portfolio execution across portfolio components. Risk and change should be embraced and navigated within the environment of nonlinear interaction. Within this nonlinear environment, specific portfolio level risk are addressed by the portfolio management team with the goal of optimizing value for the organization's risk and chains are those embraced and navigated within an environment of nonlinear interactions with the goal of maximizing value of the organization. The following major sections are classified. 8.1 Overview 8.2 Guiding Principles 8.3 Portfolio Risk Management 8.4 Plan Key Planning Element 8.5 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks and Portfolio Risk Management Plan. 8.1 Overview Risk Management involves the identifications and balancing of risk factor environment, human legislations, compliance, etc. to efficiently and effectively enable portfolio value delivery at and above the portfolio level Value is measured by how well the portfolio supports organizational strategic goals and objectives. These goals and objectives are achieved in parts of aligning responsibility and accountability for risk management with the organizational business model. The dependencies among the diverse risk factor result in emergent risk that require a holistic portfolio risk management approach. Therefore, a simple the composition approach to risk management as seen at the program and project level is not appropriate when dealing with portfolio level risk factor. Portfolio risk management is a domain composed of models and across functional processes. The portfolio risk management frameworks enables portfolio managers to allocate current capital and resources within the capacity constraint of the organizations and in harmony with the organizational risk governance to obtain future benefits. Factors considered including but are not limited to overall risk appetite, frequency, severity, and a specific risk threshold, key portfolio stakeholder makeup, and diversification. For example, when a choice need to be made with regards to a certain portfolio, models, or a statistical technique, such as expected monetary value AVM. AVM may be used to calculate metrics to help the decision maker arrive at the decisions. The goal is to balance the risk or reward or value option in order to optimize the delivery of value while maintaining an acceptable level of risk exposure. Other model may be used. However, the process is similar. The decision maker select a course of action based on modeling used within the organization's portfolio risk management. Estimate the value proposition of a portfolio while aligning to an agreed upon confidence level and a portfolio level risk threshold. 
This is usually done through a balancing of both positive opportunities and negative threat risk. The key is that the portfolio level risk element are balanced and not necessarily mixed or maximized against various parameters. 8.2 Guiding Principles REST principles are based on transparency, integrity, and organizational objectivity. Principles that guide portfolio risk management includes A. Management considerations and B. A need to step beyond mechanical calculations of risk exposure. At the portfolio level, risk management includes both the internal and external Factors of the portfolio. Complexity drives risk management beyond isolated response strategies requiring a balancing of risk to achieve an equilibrium between threat and opportunities. The objective of the portfolio risk management is to meet value propositions of the portfolio while aligning to an agreed-upon confidence level and our portfolio level risk threshold through a balancing processes of both threat and opportunities. Risk balancing those contributes to maximizing the probability of the portfolio will support strategic objectives within the value proposition constraint. Section 7.1 List eight fundamental principles that are centered central to the management of portfolios. All eight principles apply to risk management However, the following principles are central to risk management processes at the portfolio level. Maximize portfolio value while balancing risk. Foster a culture that embraces change and risk and navigate complexity to enable successful outcomes. The result of the combinations of these three principles from a holistic perspective allows a balancing of portfolio components through the organized risk assessment process, this process should be proactively implemented by portfolio management to prevent or minimize loss and encourage opportunity exploitation. Paragraph 8.2 Managing Portfolio Risk 8.2.1 Portfolio risk management processes helps managers identify and analyze portfolio risk the goal of risk management at the portfolio level is to maximize the probability that the portfolio will meet its strategic goals and objective within the organization's strategic vision. The objective of balancing threat and opportunity is to maximize the potential to deliver optimum value to the organizations in the short, medium, and long-term time frame. Portfolio risk management differs from project risk management in that the goal of risk management at the project level is to minimize threat and maximize opportunities. Additionally, a program or project is concerned with risk and issues that arise inside the specific group of project. Portfolios are concerned with the maximizing the value of the portfolio, b. tailoring the fit of the portfolio to the organizational vision, strategy, and objectives by aligning with the business models and C, determining how the balance, the project, and the project within the portfolio given the organization's capacitance and capabilities. As the value and size of the components increase, risk impact increase in relation proportion depending on the severity and frequency parameter. For example, within the portfolio threat may not be minimized if there is a potential all value by taking on additional negative risk under the right circumstances. The organization may close to actively embrace appropriate trans threat in anticipation of high reward. Take the case of investing in the new proven technology with a view of being First, in market, in anticipations of highly profitable sales, it is possible that the technology may not work and that the market may not accept the new product. Alternatively, the product may be successful 
and highly profitable. The portfolio manager should balance the possibility of the technology failing experience and program or project failure within the portfolio with the potential for future profit other programs or project success within the portfolio, the technology develop program may deliberately accept threat to cost schedule and scope in anticipations of being able to deliver the benefits of the new technology that could support other programs or projects in the portfolio or even other portfolios. The value realization extend beyond the program or project to the organizations. Finally, there is also a consideration of the effect of very low profitability by high impact threat. Portfolio managers should be aware of the possible catastrophic result of every low probability but high impact threat are exemplified by the recent collapse of the mortgage sector securities. Rest condition inside aspect. of an organization environment that may contribute to portfolio risk such as poor management practices or negative risk, integrated management system, positive risk, lean processes, positive risk, an excessive number of concurrence project, negative risk, or dependency on external participants who are highly specialized positive or negative risk. These conditions are not in and of themselves rest. However, this condition may result in an environment where risk have a great potential to materialize into issue. For example, on the organizations that is highly dependent on external specialized participants may have a greater probability of losing those participants negative risk because these individuals are specialized there is a greater probability that their input will be key to critical to managing portfolio action positive risk the portfolio manager weight both the positive and negative aspects of risk associated with having external participants this is not a simply minimizations or maximization problem Portfolio risk management also includes providing reserve or management or contingency across the risk pool to cover both a portions of not all the aggregate portfolio risk and risk within the component program and project. The portfolio manager is in position to hold an aggregate contingency to cover threat and or opportunities where the expected monetary value is an unreliable guide for contingency or reserve calculation because of a less than statistically significant number of risk within an individual portfolio components. Expected monetary value is unreliable when dealing with risk that have very high impact and very low probability. A portfolio manager may also aggregate risk response by using some common characteristic, example impact or consequence of the threat or opportunity when describing positive risk. In other words, portfolio contribution to risk management is primarily to the exploit of the opportunity of economic skill. It is a contingency provision of the constituent program and project in cases where each component cannot economically fund protect protections from threat. In other words, the portfolio management rule in risk management is primarily to exploit the opportunity offered by the economies of skill and trade-off between components through the balancing of the positive and negative risk. One key contribution, but not the only one, is the pro provisions of assured contingency for the constituent components, program, project, and operations to address case where the impact of a common threat or opportunity is accepted at a strategic level, but it's greater than any single component 
can tolerate or exploit this provision is called the management reserve. In the case of opportunities, the potential impact of the opportunity being addressed at the strategic level is the plan value of the corresponding initiative as defined in the business justification document that was approved to sanction, sanction its inclusion in the portfolio. It is also possible that Reserve could be used for positive risk response to enhance value. This is a particular through across a portfolio where components, program, or project may be changed or initiated to exploit positive risk. So reserve are usually seen as a threat response endeavor. However, the use of reserve could support both threat and opportunity responses across the portfolio. Paragraph 8.2.2, Balancing Risk. Risk appetite of the key portfolio stakeholder in terms of balance between the opportunities and threat is a factor that needs to be taken into account when managing portfolio risk. The balancing of the risk is challenging because of the complex na natures of the portfolios and the inherent characteristics of uncertainty associated with risk. Also, the portfolio manager should take a proactive approach and responding to risk to ensure that the potential negative impact of threat remains acceptable while respect to the benefits expected from pursuing the opportunities. On the threat side, organizations will try to prevent losses through risk mitigation action while on opportunity side's actions to enhance outcomes with the taking to maximize one or more benefits, benefits such as return of on investment or profitability further because of portfolios are complex. There is often no single optimal solution. The trade-off between threat and opportunities, short and long-term impact, and environment considerations, including the market and available technology and have a fundamental impact on the selections or terminations of the portfolio components. The interrelationship of these factors drive the complexity of portfolio risk management, balancing dependencies and priorities among portfolio components is often conflict and underline the subjective perception of risk. In addition, the absence of deterministic environment makes the decision-making process more difficult because of uncertainties that limit effective response strategy. In most cases, the portfolio manager is faced with several sub-optional optimal solutions where all solutions have various strengths and weaknesses. But there is no clear path to an optimized management approach to simply assume that the rest exposures of the portfolio is the sum of its constituent parts misses the interrelationship among the portfolio's components, parts that the external influences that are prevalent to the portfolio level of management. Because of complexity associated with risk management at the portfolio level, communications and stakeholder engagement is a primary concern of the portfolio management team. A robust communication effort with sensor management up the chain program and project management down the chain and the portfolio management and the operation staff if contains within the portfolio allows a common vision towards shared goals. This provides a framework in length to the portfolio risk management effort to subor subordinate risk management effort within the elements of the portfolio. Paragraph 8.3 Portfolio Risk Management Managing risk at the all level is an active process involving continuous planning, analysis, response, and monitoring and control. The executions of response strategies should be anticip anticipatory and implemented by trigger events that launch response action before the risk materialize so that opportunities, positive risk, may be enhanced 
or threat negative risk may be this diminish even within the active process of continuous risk identification risk management at the program project and operations areas are traditionally approached from the perspective process based perspective however when complex system such as portfolios risk may not be managed in the traditional or simple sense complexity requires a less first prescriptive approach in many cases the executions of risk response strategies at the portfolio level involves the establishment of project within the portfolio components program or as part of continuous operation however with the complex system such as portfolio risk may not be managed in traditional simple or simple sense complexity requires a less prescriptive approach in many cases the executions of risk response strategies at the portfolio level involves the establishment of project within the portfolio's components program or as parts of continuing operation to address specific opportunities or threat positive or negative risk that have either materialized or have had significant increase in the probability of occurrence as indicated by the trigger event occurring there is an important distinction between portfolio risk management and the risk management at the program or project level in many cases the portfolio manager should delegated risk response measure to subordinate programs or projects within the portfolio a desired outcome from portfolio risk management is to utilize a structured risk planning and response effort in order to reduce management inactions and decision delay risk identification analyze and response planning acknowledge the limit of data and the lack of clear and ambiguous and actionable information concerning many management factor at the portfolio level various possible risk scenarios are studied and response plan developed to limit the impact of the data and the information disconnected described above through portfolio risk management senior leadership and portfolio management staff are provided with the course of action or management options that assist in making decision involving risk with incomplete information it went for key planning elements at the portfolio level all risk elements should be addressed risk not addressed at the portfolio level could be addressed through governance processes at the strategic level in the final analysis if a risk becomes an issue that issue may be handled through the organization's portfolio program and project structures and not at a strategic governance level 8.4.1 portfolio risk management framework there are four key elements on portfolio risk management risk management planning risk identification risk analysis and risk response these elements are shown in figure 8 thus one the double arrow represents feedback loop between various planning information views such as the portfolio risk management plan and the functions that support the creations of these data views within a data centric information structure reports and plans are presented in certain format with regards to the risk management their views and formats takes the forms of the portfolio risk management plan risk response plan portfolio confidence level or percent confidence risk register subordinates risk management and response plans and other risk related data element of concern at the portfolio level risk response planning monitor and controlling requires a structures to provide portfolio managers with a flexible risk management and response capability a data-centric approach 
to reporting and documenting promotes a self-updating structure. <coughs> so this is the figure eight. That's one element of portfolio risk management. So from the top, portfolio strategic management plan down to portfolio management plan down to portfolio risk management plan and risk planning. In the risk planning, define portfolio risk tolerance, define portfolio risk processes, and it will go to manage portfolio risk, risk identification. And the risk identification is composed of identify portfolio risk, identify portfolio risk owner, and the risk assessment composed of probability, impact, importance, timing, interdependencies, confidence limit, prioritize risk list, and risk trend, while in the risk, risk response is composed of status and trend, balancing the portfolio, managing investment choice. So this is the figure of eight, that's one elements of portfolio risk management. Figure eight, that's one is a national pictures of various elements of portfolio risk management. Risk identification assessment and response element are pictured within the elements of manage portfolio risk to show how the risk identification and assessment element inform a specific risk response. For consistency between portfolio program and project risk element, the term manage portfolio risk is used as a portfolio risk element at the portfolio level. Risks are not usually not controlled. They are managed within the comprehensive risk strategy. The risk environment show at the portfolio level is dynamic, complex, and nonlinear in nature as indicated by the multiple double arrow in the figure.
that were identified during portfolio risk planning may arise from either external or internal sources, enterprise environmental risk, and may be identified by anyone in the organizations including execution management, operation management, and portfolio management programs or project management team and stakeholders. Its executive portfolio program projects and operations has a different perspective of the portfolio risk and senior executives' influences can differ. For example, for senior executive, risk concerns generally involve portfolio level, val value, time, the market, and funding the investment measure. This may include customer, brand, and organization reputation, organizational operation models, impact on organization strategy and objectives and existing product and services that will be impacted by the portfolio. Senior executive often focus on safeguarding the shareholder investment, company assets, directing and preventing fraud, and identifying the managing liabilities. The portfolio level both structural and execution risk are driven predominantly by individual that is not, say, for example, that external factors such as environmental issues, organizational policies, contextual changes across the components, technical dependencies, or interference and aggregations or escalations of technical risk across multiple components do not impact risk at the portfolio level. However, these factors play less of the rules of the portfolio level done at the program or project level in directly driving risk. Liking both structural and execution considerations from the perspective of chains is described as dynamic capacity or the potential of an organization to adapt. Organizational adaptations or management agility is driven not by the process or technical consideration but by the individual managers and the subordinates working within the organization. Rest associated with dynamic capacity is people-centric. An organization's attitude to rest and its rest appetite is based on the individual rest attitude for those who work within the organization or within the management structure. The individual positions or negative effect of any single rest is Materialize may impact not only the portfolio of the program and project, but also the existing services, product, forecasted result, and benefits that the programs and projects generate because one risk affects other risk. As impact propagate through the organizations, the result in changes affecting the organization's stakeholders, its reputation, and its position in the market. However, what happens to an individual components or constituent parts of the portfolio is secondary given the threat that occurs should be compensated for by opportunities in other areas. What important is the overall value delivered as a result of risk diversifications in the portfolio mix? If the result I Resultant effect is aligned with the organization's vision, strategy, and business model, then the portfolio may be considered productive, irresponsive of the final status of some individual portfolio components. 8.4.2 Risk Perception It is important for the perception 
or is important of the organization to establish a common understanding of risk and be prepared for the likelihood and impact of known threat and opportunities. The risk appetite statement should be based on the review of the perspective and concern of all stakeholders and should address the implications of current organizational strategies and practices that enables the organization to develop risk appetite statement and the set internal risk appetite limit. Risk appetite is defined by risk threshold, which become a measurable metric for the otherwise subjected risk appetite statement. Organizations should also define risk tolerance band in its risk area before acting. This defines level of acceptance, acceptable risk variation around defined strategic objectives. It is important for an organization to establish clear and agreed risk appetite statement in order to guide risk-based decision making and to set the scope for overall risk management activities. Risk data including reports and formal documents are maintained and updated by the portfolio manager to maintain alignment with the organizational strategy and other direction. Most risk management at the portfolio level involves the setting of the organization's risk culture defined by the risk appetite of senior executive and, sub -sub and subordinate managers. Traditional risk response planning, monitoring and response is usually performed within the portfolio components. Through the executions of some programs or projects, or as an ongoing operation within the portfolio. However, risk perceptions and management decision on a risk are based on individual risk attitude that up and appetite as well as the collective risk appetite of, an, of the organization. Portfolio management risk may be identified by anyone in an organization including executive management operations management and portfolio manager and program management and project teams. Its organizational level has a different perspective of the portfolio's risk. Organizational level includes the executive management operations, management portfolio managers, program component and project and the small team levels. At all levels, both positive opportunities and negative threat risk are factors perceptions is by nature hard to quantify and is based on many factors dealing with an individual psychological approach to risk because of the underlying human psychological nature of risk perception risk response at the portfolio level as a level of complexity and uncertainty that is generally greater than what is found at the program or project level where the focus is on benefits and product or service delivery respectively. As uncertainty grow, risk attitude perception becomes more important. Uncertainty arise from imperfect or incomplete information. Uncertainty is greatest at the portfolio level because of the impact of uncontrolled variables of the portfolio, project, and to at lesser extent program may be shielded from some uncontrolled variables. As the result, senior managers and the portfolio management team works in an environment that is more uncertain than that of the program and project managers. Faced with growing uncertainty, Senior and portfolio managers rely on their perceptions to fill in imperfect or incomplete information. Therefore, risk appetite and risk attitude become crucial to the risk management effort. Value delivery at the portfolio level is also driven by perception. The meaning of measurable objectives by the portfolio program, projects, or operations does not completely define the value delivery equations for the portfolio. Simply stated, the sum of benefits among the components elements of the portfolio or the delivery of specific capabilities via project 
or ongoing operation does not fully define the delivered value of the portfolio. The perceptions of value is always cast within the risk-reward context. The overriding perception is that for the greater risk and reward and the value achieved by the portfolio should be greater because of the importance of individual's risk perceptions in shaping the benefits to value equation, analysis of the individual stakeholder risk appetite is key to managing risk at the portfolio level. As stated previously, risk management at the portfolio level is a balancing of opportunities and threat, positive and negative risk, to maximize the probability that the portfolio will meet its strategic goals and objectives within the organization's vision. The value of the portfolio is determined by measuring the success of meeting or exceeding these strategic goals and objectives against the backdrop of risk taken to gain desired results. Individuals make up the organizations and it's, it is through the combinations of individual risk perceptions and risk appetite that an organizational risk attitude or risk culture is formed. This does not imply that the formations of the organizational risk attitude is simply the sum of all attitudes of all organizations, employees, and managers. The process of forming the organizational attitude is complex and sometimes best communicated in terms of percent confidence in achieving the requisite goals and objectives, the attitude of the organization towards the positive or negative effect of risk on the organization's portfolio is called the organization's risk appetite. A risk tolerance organization is willing to take more risk, such as moving more quickly into a new market, expanding product more quickly, or investing more heavily in new product development. A risk averse organization is less likely to move quickly. Organizational risk appetite effect or influence individual risk attitude. Individuals who are less risk averse may tend not to make on more risk, whether those individuals who are less conservative may take on some risk. Organizational risk appetite also affect the ad adaptability or agility of the organization. Chains contains risk, and those organizations that are risk averse will be less likely to adapt and respond quickly to chains. This affect the portfolio risk management approach and specifically the portfolio risk management framework. Paragraph 8.5 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks and Portfolio Risk Management Plan Planning is the key to success portfolio management just as it is a successful program and project management. The portfolio risk management plan should fit into the overall portfolio risk management framework the Portfolio Risk Management Plan describes how risk will be managed within the portfolio. The Portfolio Risk Management Plan does not contain risk analysis, but it provides the structure for risk-related data management. This data make up the risk analysis, and the Portfolio Risk Management Plan describes how the data are used by senior managers and portfolio managers. A data-centric approach to planning allows continuous reviewing, updating, and responding when it requires the rest trigger event. Portfolio Risk Management Framework 8.5.1 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks The Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks or architecture supports the over, overarching principles of risk management and provide the visions of risk management within the portfolio. The Portfolio Risk Management Framework is an outline that links organizational risk management processes within the portfolio. Additionally, the Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks link program project and operational risk management to the portfolio risk management structure, thus providing link between the risk concern that transcend the portfolio and the component risk concern contains within the portfolio. 
a common set of risk-related definition and the establishment of risk categorize or a risk breakdown structure should be provided by the portfolio management team as part of developing the portfolio risk management framework. From a data-centric perspective, the portfolio, re portfolio risk management frameworks define the overarching over risk environment in which portfolio risk processes operate. Differences are expected between the portfolio program and project and operation risk management areas that are project program or project level or when dealing with operations, the focus is on the management or negative risk or threat through avoidance, transfer or mitigation, as well as a managing positive risk or opportunities, those exploitation, sharing or enhancement at the portfolio level. The focus should be on balancing positive and negative risk to support the organizational vision, strategic goals, and objectives of the organizations, those realizing value to the organizations at the portfolio level. Risk acceptance may be a more common strategy because many risks are outside of the planning ability or control of organization. On the positive sides of risk organization may exploit, enhance, or share positive risk when dealing with an increased product demand. For example, the risk response action would usually be parts of a planned portfolio strategy or marketing effort. Complex projects may require balancing risk and risk strategies that go beyond simple risk response strategies. The key lies what the organization should focus on. In general, portfolio managers focus on risk balancing beyond what is usually done at the portfolio at the programs and project levels. This is the way to the wider scope of portfolio management, added complexity at senior levels of management, decreased control, and generally broader vision across the management structure. Risk-based decision-making facilitates the separations of various risks into six risk categories. Risk categories provide a structure that ensures a comprehensive processes for systematically identifying risk to the consistent level of details and the contributions of the effectiveness and quality of risk identification. And organizations can use previously prepared or categorization frameworks that may take Take up the forms of simple list of categories. Some categories of risk are shown in Figure 8 2. An alternative method of risk categorization may be risk breakdown structure. Categories may be organized by the piece of the effort, the source of the risk, or any other organizational structure that makes sense to management. Additionally, a risk breakdown structure may result in a more granular listing of risk categories. The approach chosen depends on the risk appetite of the organizations and its senior management team. In addition to the overall granular granularity of the management approach taken, Figure 8 does too, an example of risk categorization. Example of risk categories are portfolio component risk. Organizational risk, performance risk, resource risk, financial budget risk, regulatory risk, market risk, data information quality, stakeholder risk, procurement risk, supply chain risk, image and public relation risk, environment risk, natural factor risk. 8.5.2 Portfolio Risk Management Plan the Portfolio Risk Management Plan is a component of the Portfolio Management Plan. It describes how risk management activities will be structured and performed within the portfolio. It also includes reference to risk management guidelines, policies, and procedure that defines the organization risk strategy. And appetite 
which includes threshold and confidence limit. The Portfolio Risk Management Plan provides the approach that is used by the governing bodies of assigning risk in portfolio components. The Portfolio Risk Management Plan is not a collection of portfolio component risk management plan or a summary of those plans, although there should be a common element between the risk management approach within the portfolio component and the overall portfolio management plan. For example, when the culture of the organizations is one of the risk taking, then, then the portfolio risk approach should be more tolerated, tolerant of risk, and the embracing of risk should be common them throughout the components of the portfolio. Program projects and operations within the portfolio may have different approach to risk management and individual program. Project and operation managers will have difference in their risk appetite and their attitude towards risk. These differences should not prevent the concept of a common theme for risk management across the portfolio and should not be restricted on individual components planning. The portfolio risk management plan includes references to risk management guidelines, policies, and procedures that defines the organization's risk strategy and present the organization's risk appetite, the risk tolerance threshold. Within the various approach to risk management as explained by the pre pre previously mentioned, Management Guidelines, C Section 8.2.1. There should be commonality regarding how risk management is seen and how risk is monitored and controlled. For example, within the nuclear power industry, each organization implements risk management practices differently depending on the local regulations and the organization's processes. However, the overall theme of the risk management within the industry is on zero tolerance of threat associated with nuclear materials. The Portfolio Risk Management Plan extends the, the vision articulated within the Portfolio Risk Management Framework. The Portfolio Risk Management Plan outlines the processes by which risk will be managed at the portfolio level. However, the Portfolio Risk Management Plan should not be prescripted down to the project level or define how the operations will be managed with respect to risk within the portfolio managers. Working with the portfolio components should align risk plan to the portfolio risk management frameworks and the individual components risk management plan should support the portfolio risk management plan. While managing concern within the portfolio components often differ from the concern at the portfolio level, example, time, impact, span, of effect, or complexity. The risk management plan of each component is not a mere subset of the portfolio risk management plan or an entire portfolio. We are now in references. References, Project Management Institute Guide, Project Management Body of Knowledge, 6th edition. Project Management Institute 2018, the Standard Program. Project Management 4th Edition, Newton Square, Pennsylvania. Project Management Institute 2006, PMI Code of Ethics and Professional, available at www.pmi.org, Code of Ethics, PDF. Project Management Institute 2016, Governance of Portfolios Program and Project, a Practice Guides, Newton Square, Pennsylvania. Project Management Institute 2014, Navigating Complexity, a practice guide, Newton Square, Pennsylvania. Appendix X1, 4th edition, Chains. Structural Changes, X1.1. In Revision 2017, Introduction, the Portfolio Life Cycle, the Portfolio Strategic Management, Portfolio Governance, Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, Portfolio Value Management, 
portfolio stakeholder engagement, portfolio risk management, X 1.2 writing style, PMI standard committee use, our style guide provided by PMI to create the finalized and content. PMI standards are developed using the active voice language and are intended to provide consistent content through the documents. Special attention is paid to uniformity with the PMI standard. X1.3 section 1 introduction change. In 2017, revision purpose of the standard portfolio management audience of the standard portfolio management. What is a portfolio relationship among portfolio programs, project, and operation? What is portfolio management relationship among portfolio management program management and project management? Principles of portfolio management relationship among portfolio management organizational strategy, strategic business executions, and organizational management. Portfolio components under interrelationship rules of the portfolio manager. Other rules of the portfolio management. X1.3 section 2, the portfolio life cycle. X1.5 section 3, portfolio strategic planning. The revision control in table X1-3 in section 3 changes. Revision 2017, overview. Guiding principles. Portfolio strategic objectives. Developing portfolio strategic objectives. Strategic risk appetite, portfolio charter, portfolio roadmap, key portfolio components, portfolio optimization, managing strategic alignment. X1.6, section 4, portfolio governance, section 4 changes, revision 2017, overview, what is portfolio governance, guiding principles, the concept of governance, effective portfolio governance, design factor, and portfolio governance rules. X1.7, Section 5, Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, 2017 Revision. 5.1, Overview. 5.2, Guiding Principles. 5.3, Capacity Management. Capacity Planning. Supply and Demand Management. Supply and Demand Optimization. Organizational Capabilities. Capabilities Assessment. Capability Development. Performance Reporting and Analytics. Balance Capacity and Capability. Section 8. 8 Point one section six portfolio stakeholder management revision two thousand seventeen six point one overview six point two guiding principles six point three definitions and identifications of portfolio stakeholder six point four analysis of portfolio stakeholder six point three stakeholder engagement planning six point six identifications communication management approach and manage portfolio communication and x one point nine section seven portfolio value management X1.10 X Section 8 Portfolio Risk Management on 2017 Revision Changes 8.1 Overview 8.2 Guiding Principles 8.3 Portfolio Risk Management 8.4 Key Planning Elements 8.5 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks and Portfolio Risk Management Plan Appendix X2 Contributions and Reviewers of the Standard for Portfolio Management the Project Management Institute is grateful to all of this individual of this report of acknowledged their outstanding contributions to the project management provisions. X2.1, the Standard Portfolio Management for Fourth Edition Core Committee is com composed of different names which contribute to portfolio management. X2.2, Subcommittee Members X2.3 reviewers, X2.3.1 SME review, program management, program management portfolio, PhD, PSPM, X2.3.2 consensus body review. X.2.3.3 Exposure Draft Review
X.4 P, my standard program members advisory group, MAG. Members advisory group, MAG. The P, my standard program member advisory group, SMAG, works under the leadership of the standard managers. We extend out sincerest thanks to them for their compiling to helpful guidance throughout the development processes during the course of committee works to the following distinguished members of the my community serves with distinctions on the SMAG MBA PMP portfolio program PMP MBA PhD X 2.5 harmonization team 2.6 production staff Appendix 3, considering the portfolio as complex system. X3.1, a holistic approach to portfolio under management. Portfolio management practitioner works in the complex environment with overlapping and often conflicting interests. Under such condition, practitioners are often challenged by too much non-filtered information and not enough relevant communication comprehend such as environment and be in position to anticipate behavior, it is necessary to study the portfolio system as a whole. This involves the applications of the system thinking approach in parallel to the prevailing linear thinking. This simply means further the examine, examine, examining and understanding portfolio components individually. Also analyze the whole portfolio and focus on the effect of the interactions between the portfolio components. This parallel approach may prove very beneficial to the portfolio manager, particularly when dealing with, with human-made system and specifically those involving many human beings. Often, very often, portfolio components are the transient vehicles that deliver chains for the whole organization. A system perspective allows for better understanding of the goals of the change initiatives and of the vehicle delivering these goals. The components of the portfolio as well as better understanding of the functioning of the portfolio system within the whole organization system. Under a system approach, the following factors are applicable. Portfolio components, connectivity, and, independ and dependence, holism, historicity, and time, boundaries, chains, cause and effect relationship, disorder, flexibility, adaptability. Portfolio components, connectivity, and dependency. There will always be interactions between the portfolio components, creating, reinforcing, and balancing loops, the properties, capabilities, the behavior of the portfolio system are derived from its components, from inter interactions between those components, and from interactions with other systems. Holism. A portfolio system should be considered as a single entity, a whole, not just a set of components. Historicity and time, the past influences the present boundaries the boundaries of the entire portfolio system may be chosen and defined at a level suitable for the particularly purpose under consideration boundaries are created for management purposes in reality the portfolio is an open system always interacting with its environment change change is a continuous process emergence is inevitable Cause and effect relationship, non-proportionality non in cause and effect relationship may often occur within the portfolio. Cause and effect may not be closely linked in time. Disorder. If the disorder in the portfolio system is high, portfolio component self-adjustment to environmental condition may occur. It is important to note that the self-adjustment process may not be efficient, usually unmanaged, equilibrium position are not the best choice. Flexibility, adaptability, face uncertainty, embrace and manage change, and embrace team learning. 
A portfolio is a system of interconnected components interacting with each other and their environment, each often when chains affect other components of subcomponents of the portfolio to which the component is connected. A portfolio managed in the complex environment usually exhibit behavior that closely resembles those of the complex system of the system consist constantly interacting with its environment not just those of a simple system which is fully explainable in terms of its components in order to build res resilience and system stability dependencies and their effect as well as the interface between portfolio components and between portfolio components and their environment need to be better understanding by portfolio management practitioner mastery of the dynamic of the whole organizational system plus knowledge about stakeholder requirements resource capacity management change management capability benefits realization process maturity components dependency management etc are essential for the portfolio manager the portfolio manager should be aware of and re 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 recognize dependencies as well as cause and effect that interconnections between the portfolio components, example, portfolio stakeholder, the portfolio environment, etc. Introduce at any point in time, such awareness allow the practitioner to introduce contingencies for emergent issue and risk arising from the aforementioned dependencies that introduce complexity. The navigations of complexity focus attentions to their aspects of organizational life that trouble portfolio managers, most disorder irregularity, and randomness. Navigating complexity means achieving portfolio objectives while accepting instability, change, and unpredictability throughout the portfolio life cycle. Navigating complexity of the portfolio helps to avoid stabilizing the crisis without eliminating its cost. Navigating complexity and portfolio management have a strong bilateral relationship. The establishment and implementations of portfolio management in an organization reduce and harness complexity considerably. Within the portfolio external environment, complexity effect primarily strategic planning, portfolio sponsorship, and portfolio governance for strategic planning practitioners need to consider the following factors as complexity drivers, durations of portfolio components, dynamics of portfolio ecosystem, effect of many small changes that may transform the portfolio and its environment, and changes associated with comparative situation among stakeholders. It is better not to use the term root cause instead of cause. Within the complex environment, usually this, there is not a single cause that impact the portfolio. Multiple costs impact the portfolio system through various independencies and should be dealt with the forms of holistic perspective. The portfolio sponsorship and portfolio governance, the following considerations are important. As complexity increase, the lack of predictability increase. Those a complexity increase, portfolio governance should adapt towards exhibiting anticipatory, change-oriented behavior and situational response or swift decision-making. Governance should also endorse proactively so that the portfolio system does not jump into the non-anticipated state. It is the responsibility of the portfolio manager to ensure that the process used to accumulate the status of all components and convey the status of the whole portfolio to portfolio governance and executive management should be well documented, tested, and validated. Long-term planning has its limit. That is why seasoned portfolio managers look 
per pattern in the whole, unsick is small changes in strategic objectives that can have the largest possible impact on unfavorable pattern. Such an, such an approach enhance and development of flexible and adaptable alternative plans, portfolios represents with organizations will be in the future. Portfolio co-involves with chains in strategy and strategic objectives. Analyzing the planning, the portfolio roadmap, along with deviations to be enacted when necessary proactive behavior, resilience, but also flexibility and adaptability under certain circumstances are essential. If executive management cannot see their strategy continuous effect, in the portfolio management process, they will not champion portfolio management even through, but not is adapting such management technique. They will have little chance of eventually achieving that strategy. A complex adaptive system approach applied in parallel and enhancing the technical portfolio management principles described in this standard had been proven to help portfolio governance to develop bird eye view for the whole portfolio management process. Management of, port of co complexity is concentrated in the portfolio's main objective, which are the most beneficial to the organizations and which aid in the deeper understanding of the program and project works throughout the organization. A complex adaptive system approach towards portfolio management has to accept that the long-term future is inherently unknowable and strategically plan accordingly. It is also important that executive and portfolio management practitioner to appreciate that is successfully portfolio management is the key drivers towards navigating complexity of the whole organization system. Executive management needs to support those efforts through communication investment, dedicated resources, knowledge management, and talent management, it is paramount to consider the consequence of L-navigated L portfolio components interdependencies. May, this may lead to several undesirable effects for the portfolio, including the problems of resource waste, schedule slippage, budget waste, and intercomponents completion. The proposed approach unites a holistic approach, example, a system linking, thinking approach, and recogni recognitions of complexity. It primarily helps the portfolio practitioner to be aware of what is done. what is known and how to investigate issues within the complex environment. The complexity of managing portfolio components and their dependencies can significantly increase with an increasing numbers of portfolio components. Similarly, the higher the degree of interdependencies between the portfolio components and its environment and the rate of change at the environment, the greater the complexity. Complexity awareness also helps balance the needs of innovations with the organization's risk appetite and set constraint. One of the key benefits of the system approach and portfolio complexity awareness is the ability to deal more effectively with chains and the compensates of the ineffectiveness of immediately apparent solution that don't consider emergent issue and risk. Glossary Authorization Authorization, the process of approving funding and communicating the authorization for initiating works on components included in a portfolio. Authorized portfolio is a process of allocating resources to execute selection, selected portfolio components and a formally communicated portfolio balancing decision. Capability assessment is the internal analysis of what an organization has or does not have 
and what can be, what it can and cannot do with respect to resources. Capacity and capability analysis is a technique performed to understand the human, financial, and asset capacity and capability of an organization in order to select, fund, and execute portfolio components. Capacity management is the process for managing overall resources, demand of portfolios and their components. Capacity planning is the analysis of resources, needs based on components, demands, and the availability capacity of an organization's resources. Category is predetermined key description used to a group potential and authorize components to facilitate further decision making. Categorize our length to proponent to components with common set of strategic goals. Components is a discrete element of the portfolio that is a program, project, or operations work related to the achievement of the portfolio strategic objectives. Components proposal is a recommendations or plans, business case, or feasibility study developed by stakeholder or sponsor to introduce or change a portfolio components or component. Cost benefits analysis is a technique that weight expected cost against expected financial and non-financial benefits value to determine the best according to relevant criteria course of action. Enterprise environmental factors is a condition not under the immediate control of the team that influence, constrain, or direct the project program or portfolio. Evaluation is the process of scoring specific potential components using key in indicators and the related weighted criteria for comparison purpose for further decision making. Goals is the general statement that indicate what is to be achieved related to an organization vision. Governance decision is a portfolio governing body decision based on portfolio performance, components, proposal, and risk, as well as capacity and capability of resources, funding allocations, and future investment requirements. Governance recommendation is a portfolio governing body recommendation based on portfolio performance, components proposal and risk as well as capability and capacity of resources, funding allocations, and future investment requirements. Inventory of work is a list of active work that may be potential portfolio components and a starting point to develop a portfolio. Key criteria is a predetermined measure values or condition used in a scoring model to measure alignment with strategic goals. Key descriptor, descriptors is a set of characteristics used to categorize and document a portfolio component for further decision making. Mission. Mission is a statement that explains the overall approach of achieving an organization's vision. Objectives is the outcomes developed from the strategic goal of an organization that are specific, measurable, and it banned. Operations is the business of functions responsible for planning, coordinating, resourcing, and controlling the repeatable, usually cyclical day-to-day -day activities of an organization. Organizational capabilities, the ability of an organization through its people, processes, and system to execute an entire portfolio of initiative for delivering goods and services. Organizational governance is the process by which an organization direct and control its operations and strategic activities and by which the organization respond to the legitimate right expectations and desire of its stakeholder. Organizational process assets is a plan, processes, policies, procedures, and knowledge base specific to and used by the performing organization. Organizational, organizational project management 
is a framework in which portfolio, program, and project management are integrated with organizational enables in order to achieve strategic objectives. Organizational strategy and objectives is an organizational document that contains the mission and vision statement as well as goals, objectives, and strategies intended to achieve the vision. Peace Gate is a review at the end of the peace in which the decision is made to continue to the next piece, to continue which modifications or to end or the project program. Portfolio is a project, programs, subsidiary portfolios, and operation managed as a group to achieve strategic objectives. Portfolio audit is a process of reviewing compliance with the governance, principles, and practices as carried out by the Portfolio Program and Project Management term. Portfolio Authorization is the formal processes to authorize portfolio components, allocate funding, and assign resources. Portfolio Balancing is the process of optimizing the mix of portfolio components to further the strategic objectives of an organization. Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management Domain A comprehensive framework based on the set of guiding principles consisting of a set of tools and practices to identify, allocate, and optimize resources for maximizing resource utilizations and maximizing resource conflict in portfolio execution. Portfolio Charter is a document issued by the sponsor the authorize and specific the portfolio structure and link the portfolio to an organization's strategic objectives. Portfolio communication management is the process requiring to develop the portfolio communication management plan and manage the disseminations of portfolio information. Portfolio communication management plan is a subsid subsidiary plan or components of the portfolio management plan that defines all communication needs, establish communication requirements, specifies frequency, and identifies recipient for information associated with the portfolio management processes. Portfolio components report is the status report from the portfolio program and project managers. Portfolio governance body the group often referred to as the governance board authorized by an organization to establish the portfolio frameworks, functions, and processes to guide portfolio management activities and make decisions about investment and priorities for the portfolio. It provides leadership, oversight, and decision-making support for portfolio management. Portfolio governance domain is a set of practice, functions, and processes within a framework based on a set of principles that are fundamental norms, rules, or values that guides portfolio management activities in order to optimize investment and meet organizational strategic and operational goals. Portfolio life cycle is the ongoing processes and functions that occur to a set of portfolios, program, project, and operations within the continuous time frame. Portfolio management is the centralized management of one or more portfolios to achieve strategic objectives. Portfolio management information system is a tool and technique used to gather, integ integrate, visualize, preserve, and disseminate the output of organizational portfolio management. Portfolio Management Office is an entity responsible for the centralized management and coordinations of the portfolios within its domain. Portfolio Management Plan is a formal approved document that defines how the portfolio will be executed, monitored, and controlled to meet organizational strategy and objectives. Portfolio manager is the person or group assigned by performing organization to establish, balance, monitor, and control portfolio's components 
in order to achieve strategic business objectives. Portfolio optimization is the ongoing practice by which benefits, risk, and resources are balanced and optimized. Portfolio performance management plan is a subsidiary plan or components of the portfolio management plan that describes performance measures reporting on scope, cost, schedule, and resources, resource optimization, and benefits realization. Portfolio periodic reporting and review. The process of reporting on the portfolio components as a whole using key indicators and reviewing the performance of the components next by the comparing actual with anticipated evolution, value, risk, level, spending, and strategic alignment. Portfolio process assets. Portfolio plans, processes, policies, procedures, and knowledge base used by the portfolio manager and the stakeholder. Portfolio report is report that provides information and performance, risk, resources, and governance decision. Portfolio risk is an uncertain event, set of event, or condition that, if they occur, have one or more effect, either positive or negative, on at least one strategic business objectives of the portfolio. Portfolio risk management is the utilization of the structured risk planning and response effort and enables rapid and effective design making to pursue opportunities and minimize the threat to the portfolio. Portfolio risk management domain is the activities related to identifying the ban and balancing risk factor to efficiently, efficiently and effectively enables portfolio value delivery. Portfolio risk management frameworks the def defined process by which the portfolio manager plans, identifies, analyzes, and responds to risk. It is often defined as part of portfolio governance framework. Portfolio risk management plan is a sub 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 subsidiary plan or components of the portfolio management plan that describe how risk management activities will be structured and performed. Portfolio roadmap. A visual high-level artifact that details how the portfolio and its relevant components are tied of the strategic goals of an organization. It provides the per portfolio information in the chronological fashions and ensure dependencies within the portfolio are established and evaluated. Portfolio Sponsor the rule that champions the applications or organization resources and support portfolio management to help meet the portfolio goals and objectives and realize its intended value contribution. Portfolio stakeholder engagement domain is the activities related to the direct and indirect communication between the stakeholders and portfolio management to gain and maintain stakeholder buy, buy in for the portfolio goals, objective, and strategies. Portfolio strategic management domain. The management of intended and emergent initiative identified by an organization's executive management. Portfolio strategic objectives is the desired portfolio outcomes derived from the organization's strategic plan. The strategic objectives guides developed for the overall portfolio strategic management plan. Portfolio strategic management plan is a formal of approved document that describe the portfolio vision, objectives, and goals to achieve organizational strategy and objectives. Portfolio value management domain is the activities related to ensuring the realizations of the intended value of the portfolio through its components. Program is related pro project, subsidiary program, and program activities managed in the coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available from managing them individually. 
program management, the applications of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to a program to meet the program requirements and to obtain benefits and control not available by managing projects individually. Program manager is the person authorized by the performing organization to lead the team or teams responsible for achieving program objectives. Project temporary is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. Project management, the application of knowledge and skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet the project requirement. Project manager is the person assigned by the performing organization to lead the team that is responsible for achieving the project objectives. Risk is an uncertain event or condition that, if it is secure, has a positive or negative effect in one or more project objectives. Risk acceptance is a risk response strategy whereby the project team decides to, uh, to acknowledge the risk and not take any action unless the risk occurs. Risk appetite is the degree of uncertainty an organization or individual is willing to accept in anticipation of a reward. Risk avoidance is a risk response strategy whereby the project team acts to eliminate the threat or protect the portfolio from its impact. Risk mitigation is a risk response strategy whereby the team acts to reduce the probability of occurrence or impact of the threat. Risk transference is a risk response strategy whereby the project team shift the impact of the threat to the third party together with that ownership of the response. Sponsor, see, portfolio is sponsor. A stakeholder is an individual group or organization who may, affect, who may affect, be affected by or perceive itself to be affected by the decision, activity, or outcomes of the project program or portfolio. A stakeholder analysis is a technique to identify a stakeholder by individual or group and determine their concern, interest, influence, expectations, and requirements. A stakeholder engagement is the means by which the portfolio manager support the achievement of excellence in executing defined strategies through transparency, responsibility, accountability, and fairness when interacting with the stakeholder. A strategic alignment is the process of evaluating new challenge strategic objectives and goals to determine whether if any gaps may exist in the portfolio and adjusting accordingly. A strategic change is, is any change in the strategic intention and plans of an organization that can impact the content of components, definition, categorize, filter key indicators, and other decision-making parameters used for portfolio management. A strategic initiative is the program and project implemented to achieve a defined future state. A strategic plan, a high-level document that explain an organization vision and mission plus the approach that will be adapted to achieve its mission and vision, including the specific goals and objectives to be achieved during the period covered by the document. A strategy and objectives is the definition of an organization intended achievement in terms of business result interpreted from the various perspective financial customers, infrastructures, product and services, or by cultural outcomes that are measurable. Subsidiary portfolio is a collection of components which includes program, project, and other work group together within the large portfolio. Supply and demand allocation is the effective utilization of organizational resource based on decision criteria in an effort to balance supply against portfolio demand. 
supply and demand analysis is the evaluation of human financial assets and intellectual capital capacity and capability accessibility in order to select, fund, and execute portfolio components. Supply and demand management is the balancing of the portfolio components need to resource demand against the available resource supply such as neither exceed the other. Supply and demand optimization is the ongoing measurement and monitoring of resource for needed course corrections and adjustment during portfolio execution. Value is the entire quantifiable and qualifiable benefits, worth, and usefulness of an organization. The total sum of all tangible and intangible elements. Value management is ensuring the realizations of intended value of the portfolio through its components in alignment with organizational strategy vision is a description of which the organization sees itself as a result of the chosen strategy index from e to e to z acceptance criteria accountability analysis portfolio risk management and stakeholder and the supply and demand analytics performance reporting and stakeholder engagement assessment assets audit authorization authorized portfolio ba beu cbis business as usual brand awareness business opm and strategic business unit strategies and business analysis business as usual business function Capability, see also organizational capabilities, capacity and development. Elements of management and portfolio capacity and resource and sustaining. Sustaining of capability assessment, capability management. Objective of portfolio capacity and capacity and capability analysis, capacity management, capacity planning, organizational capabilities and resource and supply and demand for category change, code of ethics, capability analysis, capacity management, capacity planning organization capabilities and resources and supply and demand category chains code of ethics communication management portfolio and portfolio coordinations and portfolio management and stakeholder management and stakeholder and stakeholder engagement and components components level components proposal contract management team cost benefits analysis culture decision making Demand, see also supply and demand, optimization for resources. Economics value, enterprise environmental factor, enterprise PMO, EPMO, evaluation, execution stage, executive, real time reporting for stakeholders and in extrinsic values, fairness, financial capital, financial management, gap analysis, gated review goals, examples of portfolio components and portfolio strategic management, portfolio strategic objectives and governance, see portfolio governance, governance board, portfolio governance and resource, and responsibilities and sponsors, and governance decision, Governance frameworks, aspects, and guiding principles, and portfolio governance, and governance recommendations, a guide to a portfolio governing bodies, guiding principles, governance frameworks, portfolio capacity, and portfolio management, and portfolio strategic management, risk and stakeholder, value management, and human capital, financial capital, and productivity, initiation, intangible elements intangible value, 
intellectual capital, intrinsic values, inventory of work, key criteria, key descriptors, key performance indicators, legislative environment, management, C capability management, financial management, operations management, portfolio management, program management, project management, value management capability, and 59 for communications, comparative overview, risk, sharing resources, and supply, mission, mission statement, monitoring, portfolio, and project management, and negotiation, objectives, operations, operational activities, operational strategy, operations management, business functions, and portfolio management, and OPM, the organizational project management, optimization, organizational capabilities, capacity planning and development, portfolio, and organizational governance, organizational culture, organizational obje objectives, organizational planning, business analysis, and culture, and organizational objectives, and PMIS, and portfolio manager, and organizational process assets, organizational project management, OPM, organizational strategy, management of objectives, and planning of portfolio, and organizational strategy and objectives, oversight, performance domain, performance metrics, performance reporting, peace gate, planning, PM book guide, see a guide to the project management, body of knowledge, PMI code of ethics and professional conduct, PMISC portfolio management information system, PMOC portfolio management office, portfolio communications for components level and control, for financial management and inventory of works, and legislative environment, and monitoring and negotiating, and optimizations of organizational capabilities, and organizational process assets, and organizational strategy, and oversight for performance of PMO, and portfolio manager, and project manager, and purpose of relationship, of resources, and sponsor support, stakeholder, and strategic initiative, and structure of success with transparency, in value management and value reporting and portfolio audit, portfolio organization, portfolio balancing, portfolio capacity, capability and capability management and guiding principles for management for objectives of resources and portfolio capacity and capability management domain, portfolio charter, portfolio communication management, Portfolio Communication Management Plan, Portfolio Components Reports, Portfolio Components, Cost Estimation for Decision Making and Evaluations of Goals and Key Parts of 36 to 39, Portfolio Strategic Objectives and Prioritization of Project Outcomes and Stakeholder Engagement and Portfolio Governance, Governance Audit and Body of Concept of design factor for development, domain for factor, for governance board and governance frameworks and hierarchy, for portfolio life cycle and practice of principles for program management and project management and rules for a sponsor and portfolio governance body, portfolio governance domain, portfolio life cycle, flow chart for initiation and major activities, for management of portfolio governance and portfolio strategic objectives and processes of stage of strategic planning and portfolio management audience for capability management and communications and execution stage and guiding principles and interest of meaning of operational management, optimizations and organizational context of performance domain, of planning and principles, of purpose, of the stakeholder and the standard for updates and vision, of vocabulary, for portfolio management information system PMIS, 
Portfolio Management Office PMO, Portfolio and Stakeholder, and Portfolio Management Plan, Portfolio Manager, Organizational plan, Planning, and Portfolio Balance, and Portfolio Charter, and Risk Management, and Rule of a Sponsor, and Strategic Management, and System Thinking, and Portfolio Optimization, Portfolio Performance Management Plan, Portfolio Periodic Reporting and Review, Portfolio Process Assess, Portfolio Report, Portfolio Risk, Portfolio Risk Management, Analysis and Frameworks, Objectives for, Plan for, Portfolio Risk Management Domain, Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks, Portfolio Risk Management Plan, Portfolio Roadmap, Portfolio Sponsor, Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement Domain, Portfolio Strategic Management, Goals, Guiding Principles for Requirements of Strategic Planning and Portfolio Strategic Management Domain, Portfolio Strategic Objectives, Categorize, Criteria for Development of Goals and Portfolio Components and Portfolio Life Cycle and Portfolio Strategic Plan, Portfolio Value Management Domain, Program, Program Management, Applications of Intended Benefits and Portfolio Governance and Project Management and Scoop and Stakeholder and Program Manager, Project, Project Governance, Project Investment, Project Management, Applications of Balancing Constraint, Monitor and Portfolio Governance and Portfolio Specification and Program Management and Risk and Stakeholder Engagement and Project Manager. Requirements Tracing, Resources Allocations, Bottleneck and Capability and Capacity Planning and Demand and Governance Board and Management of Portfolio and Portfolio Capacity and Strategic Alignment and Supply and Demand and Type of Responsibility, Return on Investment, Risk, the strategic risk appetite, attitude about balancing of categorization of change, and condition for factors of guiding principles for impact management of opportunities and threat in perception, portfolio manager, and for profiles of management, project management, and portfolio for, for sources, transparency, and uncertainty. Risk acceptance, risk appetite, risk avoidance, risk mitigation, risk transference, return of investment, sponsor, governance board and portfolio governance and portfolio manager and portfolio support with stakeholder and stakeholder analysis and categorization of communications and engagement of groups of guiding principles for six for interest table. PMO and portfolio and project management and strategic impact and stakeholder analysis, stakeholder engagement, analytics and communication and planning for portfolio components and transparency and stakeholder contractor and executive and portfolio management and program management and sponsor and the standard of program management, strategic alignment, strategic business, strategic change, in strategic impact, change and considerations for portfolio process assets and stakeholder, and strategic initiative, strategic management, strategic plan, strategic planning, customer values and portfolio charter, and portfolio life cycle, and portfolio strategic management, and strategic risk appetite strategic and objectives, subsidiary portfolio, supply and demand, allocations of analysis, of capacity planning, management of optimizations, of relationship between resources and supply and demand allocation, supply and demand analysis, supply and demand management, supply and demand optimization, sustainability, system thinking, tangible elements, tangible value, economic value and market share, and measurement of transparency, uncertainty, value, 
value, see also customer values, economic value, intrinsic values, intangible value, intrinsic values, tangible values, assurance of creation, delivery of, measurement of negotiation and portfolio, and realizations for reporting of value management components, definitions of frameworks for guiding principles and key activities in portfolio and value productive production capability vision mission statement and portfolio management with portfolio roadmap and this is the end the standard of the portfolio management fourth edition in today environment of rapid change of constant disruptions highly mature portfolio management practice have been proven to be a vital tool to the organization's success. Portfolio managers oversee a collection of the project programs and other activities that are grouped together to meet strategic business objectives. The practice of portfolio management is integral to the implementations of the organization's overall strategy plan. Now, it is a fourth edition. The standard of portfolio management reflect current practices and have been updated to reflect the evolutions of the profession. It is the principles-based standard, making it applicable to the broad range of organizations regardless of the project delivery approach. The fourth edition describes portfolio management and its relationship to the organizational project management, organizational strategy, and the organizational organization in addition to its relationship to program and project management. Not only is the standard for portfolio management for edition invaluable for portfolio manager and aspiring portfolio managers, it's an important reference for anyone who works with portfolios from project and program managers to project stakeholders and senior managers. Project Management Institute Global Operations Center, 14 Campus Boulevard, Newton Square, Pennsylvania, 19073 USA. PMI.org. PMI member benefits license to Windel Biot 6304999. Not to distribution or for sale. This is the end of the standard for portfolio management, fourth edition. For page 73 to uh, page 90, 91 to 140. Oh, 95 to 140. So today is my birthday, January 21, 1988. So I finished the reading of the Standard Portfolio Management 4th Edition. Thank you so much and we need to study. See you for the next recording. Goodbye. This is the continuations of Project Portfolio Management, Chapter 8. Page 100, ah, no, no, page 96.